Tell us the line, Dale. Um, let's start with your veterans. Gus is back. He's out there. Spencer's been out there. That's right. Um, kind of talk about what you want them to get better at and what they mean to this unit's development. Oh, they're getting better. They're, they are getting better because they played a lot of football. They're older kids. And when you have older kids, they understand uh, the speed of the game. They see things a little bit. They both played a lot of football. So, you know, those are two kids that are uh, leaders. They should be leaders. And they're leading the other kids. So it's, it's good that they're still here with us. And then, you know, uh, give us an idea of, of the two young tackles you're playing right oh. now. Musa and, and, and Bo look like they may have a bright future here. Oh, they, yeah, they do. Um, they're good, very good prospects, yeah. And like anything. They played a little bit last year, and they played. They understand some of the game, which is speed, so they've been out there. And now you just have to uh, keep developing them and get them better and have to keep them wanting to play football, wanting to get better as players. And they both have a bright future, but uh, you know, when you play in Music City Ball, and they're both true freshmen, they're playing out there, and we're scoring touchdowns, they got to feel pretty good that they, they can develop and become better players. How important was that? run to a bowl game where you get all those extra reps leading up to that game. And That's right. Yeah, they, got, they got a lot of extra reps. And obviously, the more reps you get, the more things you see, the speed of the game, you understand that. And then, obviously, once you get in that game, it's even faster than practice. And now that you've been out there and you've been in a big-time environment where there's over 70,000 people, they, they, you know, they understand the crowd noise, what it takes to be a player. Cam Craig, Dale, um, I know he has some issues with his back. He's been out there lately. Yes. Do you, do you think he could factor in more at maybe a tackle spot or a guard spot? Well, that's a great question. So well, I'm just trying to figure out who the five best are. And obviously then we have to develop some depth. And Cam has played both tackle and guard at this point in time. I'd like to see him at, at a tackle. But, uh, you know, I've got to put the five best out there. So we'll see what he, where he fits in that are, 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 are Moose and Bo both tackles, or could any of those two go inside? Uh, they could go inside, but you know I always like to start them off with tackle and see who can play tackle. And they both okay. have shown that they can do that they can play tackle. It's harder to take a guy from inside and go, you go play tackle. I'd rather do them tackle inside. You've got a lot of guys who have had game reps. How important is that continuity when you try to go from one season to the next? You know, it's very important because at least those guys know what's going on. When I say going on, they can make the calls. They can be leaders. They know what we expect of them, and they bring those guys that need to develop, and they have to bring them along. So it's important to have older guys, because we have older guys that are invested in the program, and they will help you uh, develop the kids. How like Gus was a leader as a freshman even. Um, how have you seen that kind of grow, though, where he came in and he was ready to go right away? Because yeah, Gus had a burning desire to want to play. Mm -hmm. Gus had a burning desire to be, want to be a very good football player. He wanted to play. Uh, was he a leader? No, he wasn't a leader back in 2020. He was a quiet kid. He was just holding on. Last year, you could see we've uh, pushed him along into that making calls, being more vocal. And now, yeah, as a third year here, yeah, he has become more of that leader uh, for us. How, how frustrating is it to not have the Sione Finau kid be able to practice? Yeah, that's, you know, you want him out there to practice. You know, unfortunately, he got hurt, so now I'm like, well, I would love, that's why you're here. To, you're here to play. He wanted to come play football and get a degree from uh, Purdue. And unfortunately, he's not out there to help us right now. So when he's ready to go, he will be out there. He, and the kid wants to be out there. And, and he, he's probably going to be a guard if he plays, right? He will be a guard. That's okay. correct. And then, uh, I guess, Dale, Jared Byzinski, he's been your number one, I guess, right guard most of the spring. That's correct. Talk about Jared a little bit. Well, Jared needs a lot of reps. Uh, Jared's a very physical player, and uh, Jared has all the tools to be a, a good Big Ten alignment. You know, he can do it, but Jared just needs more reps, more reps. Tough kid. He's from Big Ten country. You know, kid from uh, Berea, Ohio, mm -hmm. which is right outside of Cleveland. So he, he's a tough guy. And so he can do it. So, you know, he's just got to get out there and want to do it day after day, play after play, you know, week after week. How do you feel about the depth, Dale? Would you still like to add some guys to the portal? Yeah, we're always looking to, for more depth because it's a long season. I mean, you're saying it's 12 weeks plus uh, August camp plus an open date, so you're going 13 weeks with the opportunity to, hey, let's, can we play the first week of December? And last year, guys got hurt. I mean, Greg Long doesn't play at uh, Nebraska. You move Eric Miller over to left tackle. Cam Craig's got to be the right tackle, so there's some depth. Greg Long doesn't play at the bowl game. Got to do the same lineup again. So, you know, Tyra Witt got hurt. Cam Craig had to go in. Somebody's having a bad game. Somebody's killing us. Somebody's hurting us. Can't block somebody. I got to pull out. So you need depth. And when you have depth, you have competition. 
when they have competition, guys are fighting to get out there. When there's no competition, because there's no depth, the guys are like, hey, no one's going to push me. I can just relax, do whatever I want. When you have competition, the guys are pushing each other, then the whole group is better.